download the plugin from the official website. Link is in the description. Then, upload and install the plugin file in the WordPress Dashboard's plugin section. After activating the plugin, access the multi-currency settings. Your store's default currency is preloaded. Feel free to add as many additional currencies as you need, with no limitations. For this demonstration, I'm adding two more. Every currency offers customizable options to suit your preferences. To access these settings, click the Edit button next to the desired currency. Within the customization screen, you can modify the currency's appearance, similar to how you adjust the default currency settings in your WooCommerce store. For exchange rates, you have two options, automatic or manual. If you select manual, you will need to input the exchange rate yourself. Additionally, you can apply a fixed or percentage-based fee to the product's converted price. This feature is particularly useful for covering extra expenses, such as payment gateway fees. Finally, you can round the converted price up, down, or to the nearest value. For instance, if you round 182.46 up to the nearest 100, it becomes 200. If a rounding minus of 0.01 .01 is then applied, 200 will become 199.99. You have the flexibility to display product prices in various currencies. Additionally, you can control whether customers can complete their checkout in the default store currency only, or if they are permitted to pay in different currencies. Given that not all payment gateways support all currencies, you can configure specific payment gateways for each available currency. You can also manage which currencies are applicable for checkout by disabling any unwanted ones. If a customer selects a currency that is enabled for checkout, the transaction will be processed in that currency. Otherwise, the store's default currency will be used to complete the transaction. A notice regarding currency enforcement can be enabled and customized on the checkout page. This notice will appear if the currency set for the store differs from the currency being used on the checkout page. Moreover, you can choose to enforce currency based on a customer's billing or shipping address. If a currency applicable to the address is available and enabled for checkout, it will be used for the transaction. If not, the store's default currency will be used instead. You can display the currency switcher on the front end in four ways. Single product page, short code, Gutenberg block, and Elementor widget. Each method allows separate appearance settings for the switcher. For this demonstration, I will add the switcher to the header and the single product page. I'll maintain the default settings for the single product page. As I'm using a free theme for this demo, which doesn't support Gutenberg blocks or Elementor widgets for the header, I'll need to use the short code. You can generate and copy the short code from this page. I'll include the currency flag and currency code in the switcher to be displayed in the header. Now let's see the result on the front end. The currency switcher appears in the header as anticipated. We will now attempt to switch currencies to verify functionality. The currency switch was successful. Next, we will examine the single product page. Live exchange rates can be retrieved using your preferred API service, and you can set the update frequency or disable auto-updates. An auto-detect currency feature can be enabled for first-time store visitors. This feature uses the user's IP address to determine their country via a Geo API service, which you can select from available options. You can assign specific countries to each currency. If no countries are assigned, the system will automatically detect the most appropriate currency based on the customer's country. Customers can manually change their currency after the initial selection. I'll test the auto-detect currency feature with a VPN, simulating location changes in incognito windows. The goal is to ensure the correct local currency displays based on the virtual location. If currency switching is not working as expected with a cash plugin on your website, you will need to enable a specific option to resolve this. Let's add some products to the cart, and then check the cart and checkout pages for various currencies.
This plugin transforms WooCommerce analytics with a powerful currency filter, offering deep insights into global sales. Easily analyze sales by specific currencies, or view all transactions converted to your store's default currency for a holistic overview. Make informed decisions, streamline your workflow, and ensure financial accuracy. This tool empowers businesses to understand sales performance across diverse markets and drive strategic growth. Should you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or send us an email at the address provided in the description. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest product updates. Thank you for watching.